what has the situation been here in the Aklan area? The Aklan actually been uh, relatively good. For that's my opinion or for my assessment. Uh, uh, the situation has been returning normal. Uh, the shops are mostly open. Uh, the markets are working most of the time. There's much less uh, uh, stuff on the, on the market than usually. And there's still problems with the phone lines, the communications and the televisions and stuff like that. But otherwise, it seems to be that the things are getting back to the normal. What's the problematic here is actually that a lot of the people have lost their homes. And like in this uh, Yolanda case or this Haiyuan uh, typhoon case, like in most of the disaster cases, the people who lost their homes are the, all the, already the people who are most vulnerable in the communities. A lot of the people have built up their houses with only bamboo uh, and other very light materials. A lot of these houses are washed away and now they have to uh, rely on the shelter, rebuild their small houses and get back to the normal life and this will take a long time. Other problem is of course food because once you lose your home you lose your economy at the same time and you need to get some, somewhere to eat. If you can't respond to food and the shelter and the water also then it leads to the health problems in the long run or actually very in, 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 uh, in very short term. Uh, so, and that will lead to the major problems in this situation. So we need to be able to respond to the food situation and also to the shelter situation. Luckily, the water situation has been actually very good in, in Aklan. Uh, in Aklan, uh, during the previous disasters, like the, the Frank uh, typhoon or the Frank hurricane, they rebuilt uh, their water sources to withstand the new typhoons. And this preparedness work really shows up at the moment because the water has not been a problem, like it's been a problem in Cebu and some other, other areas. A lot of the areas, like in Aklan, we, uh, PNSs have been supporting some of the community-based disaster response work. Like the Finnish Red Cross has been working here in the MOBO, where we're actually standing at the, uh, at the, at the moment, uh, supporting a CBDRR approach, which has been done around the Philippines with the same method. So we train the volunteer people here, we uh, form up the disaster preparedness groups, we work together with the community and we prepare for the, for the typical disasters, which every year, these are, in this, uh, this MOBO scenario for example, there are always floods, every year there's floods, every year there's some kind of a typhoons. Luckily, uh, the scale of the Haijun or, or the Yolanda has been exceptionally high, I mean, you usually en uh, end up in a situation like this, but, uh, but it shows that uh, it pays up to prepare, because there's been very little uh, uh, loss of life, there's been very little injured, actually. But there's a lot of infrastructure uh, destruction, which can be unfortunately avoided uh, only with the preparedness work. But what can be done is then to respond to the needs of the people uh, once they start their normal life.